surveillance and Jay-Z reportedly sent Kim Kardashian in Kanye West $21k baby gift. Feud over? Did the power couples kiss and make up? That's the question after a new report claims Beyonce and Jay-Z gifted Kimmy's new baby girl with this $23k custom-made piece of jewelry. What does music's most prominent power couple gift fashion's most prominent power couple when a new baby arrives? Well, if you're Beyonce, 36, and Jay-Z, 48, it's a custom-made diamond Lorraine Schwartz bracelet worth a whopping $21,000, according to The Sun. That's right, Kim Kardashian, 37, and Kanye West's third baby, who arrived on January 15, is about to be the most decked out infant, well, ever. And, get this, Day and Jay reportedly had the bracelet engraved with the number 3, to signify Kimmy's third offspring. Beyonce and Jay could not be more pleased for them, they can't wait to meet the little one, and have sent them this gift already, a source told the outlet. It shows they have all moved on from the past, and they are familiar once more. Although all parties involved are reportedly thrilled about burying the hatchet, Kanye is over the moon as he has always considered Jay-Z his big brother, and Beyonce has always been one of his closest friends. I. Ironically, both power couples have three children each, and it's only a matter of time before the play dates begin, the source added. They and Jay are parents to twin Sir and Rumi, who they welcomed in June 2016, and Blue Ivy, 6. Kim and Kenny are parents their daughter, North, 4, and son, Saint, 1, along with their new baby girl. While this report indicates that Jay-Z and Kenny's feud is over, Jay already hinted that he wanted to bury the hatchet during an interview with the New York Times back in November 2017. But, that happens, Jay admitted about there being tension with Yee. Jay explained, in the long relationship, you know, hopefully when we're 89 we look at the six months, or whatever time, and we laugh at that. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be complications in the relationship that we have to get through. And the only way to get through that is we sit down and have a dialogue and say, these are the things that I'm uncomfortable with. These are the things that are unacceptable to me. This is what I feel. I'm sure he feels that I've done things to him as well. You know what I'm saying? These are, I'm not a perfect human being by no stretch. You know. Jay also said that he had recently spoken with Yee at the time and that they would always be good with each other. I love Kenny. I do, he said, adding, it's a complicated relationship with us. As you may know, Jay and Yee's friendship took a hit back in 2016. In October of that year, Kenny went on a rant during one of his concerts, where he slammed both Jay and Beyonce. He claimed their kids didn't play together, and he revealed that there was tension between him and Jay because of a title music dispute. He even said that Jay and Baines didn't even call after Kim's 2016 Paris robbery. Just days after his rant, Kenny checked into UCLA Medical Center for an 8-9 day stay for an alleged mental breakdown, 